Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over eight ways Apple can improve their Apple Vision Pro case on the second iteration of this. All right, so the first major complaint about this case is how big it is. Even though I don't think it's, it's particularly big, there are much smaller cases that you can buy. So number one would be adjusting the size so that you have a much smaller travel case. And one easy way that they can do that is to copy what Waterfield Design did with their case which is to develop a case where you would have to remove the headband in order to fit it into the case. And I don't see any reason why you really need to have the head strap on here all the time, other than convenience for when you take the Apple Vision Pro outside the case and allowing it to be immediately used. But I think people much prefer a smaller case over uh, the advantage of being able to use it immediately after taking it off. Number two is the outside fabric material. So this is a ripstop nylon, which means that yeah, even if there was a tear here, it would prevent the tear from getting any bigger. Um, it's a nice material, it feels really nice, but you can see how wrinkly this case is. And with this white color, all of these imperfections are visible. So if there was a way that they can keep the ripstop nylon material, but reduce the wrinkles, that would be perfect. Number three is different color options. I know that white is synonymous with the Apple brand, but it would be nice to have different color options or like a two-tone look. Number four is an internal strap to hold the left side of this compartment and all the things here intact. So if you look at this case, on the outside there is an Apple Vision Pro logo. It's light gray, so sometimes this is hard to see. But there's really only one direction that you're supposed to open this case, which is with that logo facing up. So everything stays in place. But if you had this case reversed and you open the case, all your stuff kind of falls to the opposite side, which is not ideal. So a lot of other cases have a strap going over this section that holds the Apple Vision Pro and all the accessories in place, no matter how you open the case. Number five would be a dedicated place to store your Zeiss prescription lenses. So right now I'm leaving my lenses on the device right here. Let me just go ahead and take off this head strap so it's easier to see. So I leave it on device because I'm using this Kiwi lens protector. If I didn't have this Kiwi lens protector, I would actually store these prescription lenses in a separate pouch. Even Apple's own documentation recommends against leaving the lenses in place because as this topples around, this can get knocked off and then get damaged. So they actually recommend that you take it off and store it elsewhere. Unfortunately, the Apple Vision Pro travel case doesn't have a dedicated compartment for the Zeiss lenses, so you're kind of stuck with putting things inside this accessory bag. But look at the size of this case. There's plenty of room for them to build some kind of compartment to put those Zeiss lenses. They could put it on this side, right here in the middle, or even on this side. I'm not sure why they didn't include that. Number six is the microfiber inner lining. Even though this is a nice soft material, if you look on my review on the water field design case, their inside material is much better than this. It's made out of a micro fleece lining, which feels thicker, softer, and I feel more confident in that material protecting the internals compared to this one. Number seven would be some kind of hidden compartment for an Apple AirTag. The Apple Vision Pro does not support the Find My device function that Apple has on all their other devices. So if you wanted to track this, um, you would probably have to put an air tag in here, but there's nowhere to put it other than loosely in the bag, an accessory bag like this. So again, just like the Zeiss lenses, they could build some kind of hidden compartment. If I look at the side of this carrying case, this part right here would be a perfect place for an air tag. And then finally, number eight would be a dedicated location to store a second battery. One battery gives you about two hours of battery life, but if you're going to be traveling somewhere with this, you probably want to have an extra battery with you. So either somewhere on the inside of the case for storing another battery or a dedicated compartment on the outside, like a zipper that Waterfield Design has, where you can just tuck a battery in, it would be nice. So those are the different ways that Apple can improve the second iteration of this travel case. And yes, I know that the price is one thing that they can change, but I don't think Apple is going to change that. They've kind of set the bar and everybody else is following it. 
I think if they made all these different changes, people would support the, the current price point. But with some of these features lacking, I can understand why people are not happy with the high price tag. What do you guys think they should change? Let me know down in the comments below.